Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well and I'm so excited that you decided to join me in this 30 minute full body kettlebell workout. So the only equipment we're going to be needing is a kettlebell, a medium to heavy weight, so I'm using 12 kg. How the workout's going to work, of course there's going to be a warm up and a cool down and then we're going to be going through 9 exercises. So it is going to be full body, we're going to be alternating between upper body and lower body movements but every third exercise will be a kettlebell swing. So we'll be doing different variations of a kettlebell swing to really get that fat burning metabolic stimulus in as well. So we're going to be building muscle and burning fat in this workout. Of course, disclaimer, this workout won't magically help you build five kg of muscle and burn five kg of fat overnight. I'm talking about if you do this kind of exercise for a long period of time with an appropriate diet don't want to be misleading anyone. So yeah, as I said, going through nine exercises, each one is going to be 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds of rest. We are trying, going to be trying to go all out in those 35 seconds of work and then resting as much as possible in those 25 seconds of rest. We'll be doing three rounds. There'll be an extra one minute rest in between each round, taking us up to about 30 minutes for the entire workout. So yep, grab your kettlebell, grab your towel, grab your water because it's definitely going to be a tough and sweaty one. I hope you're as excited as I am and without further delay I'm going to press the timer and let's get started. First move of that warm up, let me just move this kettlebell out the way, we're going to be going into some body weight good mornings. So really we're just going to be practicing that hinging motion. So pushing our hips back to the wall behind us, bum back to the wall behind us, slight bend in the knees, we're keeping our core tight and then we're squeezing our glutes at the top. Just warming up that lower body, particularly the posterior chain, so the back of your body, the hamstrings and the glutes. We don't want to thrust forward at the top, you just want to stay in neutral. Perfect, now we're just going to go into some lunges. So alternating legs, keeping our chest upright, trying to keep our balance and we're lunging back. Warming up our muscles, slowly elevating that heart rate. Remember with lunges you can put your knee on the ground or just hover your knee slightly above the ground, whatever you're more comfortable with. Perfect. Now we're just going to go into another full body warm up. We're going to be walking out into a plank and then walking back in and repeat. So, warming up that core, those hamstrings, and getting in that mobility work too. So, try and keep your legs as straight as possible. So, we're really working on that mobility and flexibility. If it's a bit challenging, you can take a slightly wider stance. Perfect, and now we're sitting back. We're gonna have our legs a little bit wide. We're sitting back, having a nice stretch in our hips. Then we're rolling forward, putting our body weight over our hands, warming up those wrists. Here, working the wrists, and here, working the hips getting that full body warm up and mobility in before we start our kettlebell workout. Perfect, so we've just got 20 seconds before we start the workout. That's the warm up done. I'm gonna grab some water, make sure you have your kettlebell nearby because the first exercise we're going to be going into is going to be some Russian swings. All right, let's go. So grab that kettlebell, we're hinging back, we're swinging it up into that Russian swing. Keeping your core tight, spine neutral, and bringing the kettlebell up to about chest to eye height, no higher. And 
and rest. Oh, that one gets your heart rate up really fast. All right, so remember with that one, we're hinging our hips back and then using the power from our legs, our glutes, to push that kettlebell forward. Next, we're gonna be going into some front rack hold split squats. So holding the kettlebell on your shoulder and going into that split squat. All right, let's go. So, kettlebell up on your shoulder into a comfortable lunge stance. Staying in this lunge stance, we're going into a split squat. Keep breathing. And rest. <sighs> All right, next round, we'll be doing the same thing in that front rack split squat on the other leg. So catch your breath and get ready to go. But in about five seconds now. All right, let's go. Bring that kettlebell up onto your shoulder and we're going into that split squat. So feet are about shoulder width apart. Width wise I mean, kettlebell is up on your shoulder. If you can't hold it on your shoulder, then we're just gonna hold it by our side and lunging down. A couple more here and rest. All right, so sorry if we're not mentioning earlier, but if you can't hold it up here or you get tired in the other rounds, we're just gonna hold it by our side here. All right, catch your breath, grab some water, and next we're gonna be going into some American swings. So if you're not comfortable bringing the kettlebell overhead, I want you to stick to the first swings we were doing. So those Russian swings. If you want a bit more of a challenge, we're gonna be bringing the kettlebell above our head. So really using more power from the hips and glutes to get that kettlebell overhead. Keep going. Remember, you can just do normal swings if this is a bit much and rest Whew. all right rest up next we're going into a bent over row with the kettlebell so in a lunge we're going to be rowing it up to our waist one side first then we'll switch to the next to the other side all right let's go 35 seconds on one side in that strong lunge and we're rowing the kettlebell up. One more. And rest. All right, grab some water and get ready to go into that other side. Whew. All right, let's go in that strong lunge and we're rowing it up. Make sure that You've switched arms. One more. 
and rest. <sighs> All right. Next, we're gonna be going into a double kettlebell swing. So we're gonna be swinging it, then we're gonna be coming down, squatting down, and swinging it up. It will make more sense if I show you with the kettlebell. So swinging, coming back, squatting down, and swinging up. All right, let's go. So swing, come down, and up. If this is too hard, you can just go back to those regular kettlebell swings. And rest. Oh, amazing work, everyone. Starting to get spicy now. All right, final two exercises before we go into that minute's rest. We're gonna be doing a clean to a press. All right, so grab that kettlebell. We're gonna clean it up and then we're gonna go into a push press. So clean it up and push it up. And rest. Whew. Definitely getting hard. We've got one more 35 second period of work, doing that clean and press on the other arm. Then we've got a minute rest. You're almost done with the first round, everyone. You're doing so well. Really well done. Whew. Get ready. All right, last 35 seconds of this first round, keep pushing. minutes rest. Amazing work everyone. Grab some water. We're one third of the way done. We've done one out of three rounds. You're doing so well. Oh. About just under 20 seconds left of this rest. Then we're going back into those standard kettlebell swings. Deep breaths now and get ready for that second round. All right, let's get picking up the kettlebell and we're swinging it up. Just a normal swing here. Really using power from the lower body and keeping that core tight. And rest. Oh, those kettlebell swings, they get you every time. All right, keep breathing now and get ready to go into those split squats. Amazing work so far, everyone.
or a let's go. So into that lunge, remember you can hold the kettlebell on the side of your leg or for a bit more of a challenge, you can clean it up into that front rack position. Keep going now. And rest. All right, use that rest. Catch your breath. And then we'll go into that other side. All right, let's go. So bring that kettlebell up or you can just keep it by your side. And we're going into that split squat. Oh, and rest. Second round, definitely feeling harder than the first. Catch your breath and then we're going back into those swings. Beginner option, Russian swings just to eye level. Advanced option, American swings over your head. Oh. Let's go into that swing. Keep breathing. Oh, and rest. All right, wipe off your sweat if you need to. Catch your breath. And we're going into those bent over rows. Whew. All right, let's go. Oops, starting with the wrong side. Into that strong lunge and row it up. and rest. <sighs> All right, rest up, and then we're going into that other side. <sighs> Definitely getting hard. But keep pushing now, everyone. You're halfway through this workout. Amazing work. <sighs> All right, let's go. Into that bent over row. Rest. <sighs> it's a tough workout. All right, next up, we have those double swings. <sighs> Shake it out and get ready to go in about 10 seconds. <sighs> All right, let's go. 
So swinging it up, down, into that squat. Remember, you can always do normal swings as well. Ten seconds. Ooh, and rest. All right. Just that clean and press on each side, and then we're two thirds of the way through the workout. One minute rest, and then just one final round. We've got this, everyone. I believe in you, let's believe in ourselves. All right, so we're going. Cleaning it up, try not to use your hand to clean it. And rest. Oh, it's nice having this sofa here to rest, isn't it? Take some deep breaths in. One more exercise before we've got that one minute rest. You're doing so well, everyone. All right, let's go. So, cleaning it up and pressing. Try and get the same number of reps as you did on the other side. And amazing, you've earned that one minute rest. We've done two out of three rounds. Really amazing stuff. So, catch your breath, shake it out, drink some water, and get ready for that final round in about 30 seconds. Just checking my camera's still on because this is too intense a workout for me to have to refill from a technological difficulties. All right, let's go into those normal swings. Last round here. Keep pushing. Hinging back and keeping that core tight. Oh, and rest. <sighs> All right, split squats coming up next. Stay hydrated. <sighs> Amazing work, everyone. <sighs> Legs are definitely starting to feel it. <sighs> All right, let's go. Bring that kettlebell up or hold it by your side and we're going into that split squat.
and rest. Whew. Resting, and then we've got that other side. Whew. Last round here. Keep pushing everyone. And deep breaths. All right, let's go. Kettlebell up into that split squat, and we're going down. got their swings coming up. I know it's getting tough. I kind of want to stop as well. But let's not. Let's keep going. Alright. Picking up that kettlebell. Swinging it overhead. Or just to eye level. Whatever you can manage. have those bent over rows it's a chance to further catch our breath as well all right let's go other side don't give up now Coming down a little bit, but we're still getting in that good work. Remember to keep drinking. All right, let's go. Get into those bent over rows on the other side. exercises to go. Keep pushing everyone. Don't give up now. All right, let's pick it up and we're going into those double kettlebell swings. So swinging, squatting, swinging and swinging again. Oh. 
and rest. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Two exercises left. No more swings. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go into that clean and press. reached the final exercise. Keep pushing everyone. A few deep breaths then 35 seconds of work then we're done. All right let's go. recover. Amazing work everyone. Keep breathing now. Deep breaths in. If you did that workout right and you were using a heavy enough weight, you should be pretty flat out tired right now. I can barely even speak. All right, let's grab some water and I'll give you a few seconds before I take you through that cool down. Really amazing work there everyone. I'm so proud of you. All right, let me put that kettlebell to the side. And first thing, we're just gonna calm down our heart rate, stretch out our hips. We're gonna bring our knees to our chest, lying on our back. I'm breathing deeply. All right, we're gonna extend one leg out. We're gonna bring the other knee across, keeping this shoulder on the ground, stretching out the lower back. And breathe. And switch sides. So, other leg comes out, other knee crosses over, and I don't really have space to extend my arm. But we're keeping this shoulder on the ground, looking over to the opposite side, extending that arm out if we can. Same stretch, opposite side. And breathe. Perfect. Now we're gonna come up to sitting and we're just gonna fold forward. If you're here, that's fine. Just go as far as you can. And now we're gonna bring one knee in, leg at about 45 degrees. We're crossing the other leg over, pardon me. And we're walking our chest in as close as we can to that front leg. Really feeling a nice stretch here in the side of the glute. Uh, 
and switching sides. Perfect, and now we're gonna take one leg out, cross the other leg over, and we're just gonna do a spinal twist. And switch sides. Perfect, moving on to the upper body. Sit in a comfortable position, so you can sit cross-legged, legs out. We're gonna take one arm, we're gonna cross it over, getting a nice stretch here in the triceps and the shoulder. And switching sides. Perfect, now we're gonna stretch our arms out, so interlace our fingers and really round our shoulders here. The only time when you wanna really Overly round your shoulders, stretching out the upper back, coming up and fingers up to the sky now. To one side, to the other side and centre. A couple more times, one side, other side, centre. Once more. And look up. And that's it. That was your 30 minute full body kettlebell workout it is a really intense workout. I know I'm still recovering, so make sure you get plenty of rest, make sure you eat well, eat a good meal with lots of protein and carbs, because we need to replenish um, all the carbohydrate that we used in this workout. Don't be afraid of carbs, but that's a whole separate topic. Um, anyways, yeah, this is part of my Strong and Lean program. We're over halfway through now. If you have been following along, great. If you haven't, then definitely check out my channel, check out the videos on there, have all sorts of workouts, hit cardio, strength, mobility, dumbbells, kettlebells, body weight, everything. So yeah, definitely check out the videos you're interested in. If you do wanna follow along with the program, you can always backtrack. So subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell to get notified of all the new workouts I'll be posting, hopefully for a very long time to come. And yeah, like this video if you enjoyed the workout, comment with what the most difficult exercise was for you or the most fun exercise. And yeah, if you have any video suggestions, I'm always happy to hear feedback. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you have a great rest of the day, great rest of the week, and hopefully see you soon. Bye.